here's something you won't hear from a lot of real estate agents. I might not be the best fit for you. Well, that might sound strange coming from a person who's in the business of helping people buy and sell houses. It's usually a good sign that you're dealing with an agent who's honest and upfront about what they can and can't offer based on your real estate goals. And you know what? That's not a bad thing. I mean, let's face it. When you hire a real estate agent, it's not for a day or two. But this is a person who you're going to be working with for weeks, probably months at a time. Whether you're buying or selling a home, real estate transactions can take a lot of time from start to finish, which is one reason why finding the right agent to work with is so important. So how can you begin to vet an agent, especially when you're looking at another town or city and you're only going off what you can find online? Here are seven key things that can help you determine who may be the best fit for you as a real estate agent so that when you do need to buy or sell a home, you'll have a better chance of having a smooth, even an enjoyable experience along the way. So let's talk about availability. Few things are more frustrating than not being able to reach your agent when you need to. That's why agent availability that aligns with your own schedule, as well as the schedule of all parties involved, is key to any successful real estate transaction. So how can you tell if an agent is gonna be available? Start by making sure you're working with a full-time, full-service agent. Find an agent who promotes themselves as a full-time agent and has a work history and social media presence to back that up. Check out online reviews. Find other people who have had great experiences with this agent and don't be afraid to reach out. Real estate involves huge transactions, so it's totally fine to reach out to folks online to get as much information as possible about a potential agent. Finally, give that agent a call. Send a text, drop an email, or do all three and see what kind of response you get. Now, agents are human too, and we all get busy from time to time. But if you can't reach an agent right out the gate, then that's usually not a good sign of things to come. So if you're new to an area, who can point you to the best restaurants in town? Online search engines or the locals? Area locals always have the best advice on places to go, places to avoid, and the same goes for real estate agents in a given area. Local real estate agents have their finger on the pulse of the surrounding market. And they can help you make the best purchasing or sales decisions based on key factors that are important to you. These factors can include the local market conditions, information about school ratings and amenities, future infrastructure plans from local authorities, typical traffic conditions, the neighborhoods that smell a little funny, the neighborhoods that smell just like the ocean breeze. You catch my drift. So a full-time local agent will have all of this knowledge and more at their fingertips simply because they study the local market every single day. Let's talk about relationships. Speaking of local, it's also important to find an agent who has established relationships with an extensive list of local vendors who will be there to help you with everything from financing and title to home inspectors and movers. When vetting potential agents, it's a good idea to present your unique real estate needs up front and then ask them to provide you with a list of vendors who may be able to help. For example, if you choose to finance your next real estate purchase, make sure your agent can provide a list of at least three local lenders who may be able to service your loan. A good agent will know most, if not every vendor, within a 20 mile radius. Will be able to provide you with a solid list for you to choose from. With the recent market shift, getting a home sold will take a lot more than snapping a few cell phone pictures and writing two line descriptions for the local MLS. To get the highest and best offers out there, you're gonna need an agent who doubles as a modern marketing expert, who will have the knowledge and capability of blasting your offer to the masses driving traffic and getting as many views as humanly possible across a wide variety of channels, both online and off. If you're thinking about listing your home for sale, make sure an agent you interview is willing to go over the complete marketing strategy. Get them to walk you through step-by-step -step every touch point that your offer is going to appear on and see if they typically offer their sellers weekly marketing updates. If you're not getting professional photos, videos, drone footage, marketing copy, and other high quality content distributed through paid and organic traffic, as well as email campaigns, direct mail campaigns, even cold calling potential clients who might be interested in your offer, you might not be getting your home in front of enough people. Speaking of reaching out to potential customers, that's precisely what a proactive realtor is all about. Instead of sitting around for the phone to ring like a reactive agent would do, a proactive agent is constantly working on the list side to reach out to potential buyers, thus increasing the chances that a great offer comes in. Finding a proactive agent on the buyer side is just as important. Do you have a buyer who's thinking about offering exactly what the home's worth? Well, that's not gonna be a problem if it's a cash sale, but if that buyer needs to finance, you could run into issues down the road. Does the property need a new survey? Surveyors have been notoriously backed up over the last several years. And so you don't wanna end up having to order a survey last minute, only to have scheduling for a in the entire deal. Finally, 
Hire somebody in the relationship business. Now, I don't mean you have to find a matchmaker to help you buy or sell a home, but if you want to have a smooth real estate experience, you want to find somebody who actually cares more about helping people and less about just getting to the closing table to cash a check. Now, I'll admit, I saved this one for last because it's the most subjective qualifier, and it can be a tough one to put your finger on during that first interview with a potential agent. It's easy to ask point blank questions like how many homes have you sold? How many buyers have you represented? Whether you're full time or you're only doing this thing part time just in case your in laws want to sell a house one day. But for me, when it comes to finding the best people to work with, I've usually been able to tell within the first few minutes of a phone call. Maybe you're looking for a hustler, a problem solver, somebody that doesn't run away from a difficult deal but actually gets excited thinking about taking on new challenges. These might seem hard to determine in an interview, but guess what? A great attitude and positivity aren't. Agents with great attitudes who are super positive simply can't hide it. Finally, I'd like to quickly throw in one more character trait here, and that's about selflessness. Don't be afraid to ask an agent about a time where they help somebody out and provide a maximum value with no expectation of a return along the way. What I mean by that is, any good agent out there is going to have a ton of stories about times that they helped out their fellow neighbors and they didn't get a penny for it. And you know what? That's perfectly okay. Because great agents who are in the relationship business first and real estate a distant second don't mind helping their neighbors out at all. Well, there you have it. Seven things to look for in a real estate agent. If you like this content and you'd like to see more, it'd mean the world to me if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this post with anybody you think might be interested. Wishing you nothing but the best meeting all of your real estate goals in 2023 and beyond. If there's anything you believe I can help with, or if you have questions of any kind, please don't hesitate to reach out to me using the contact information in the video description. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time.